Hello again. Here is another exercise. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to convert a 2D drawing into a solid model. Please remember that there's always more than one way to draw anything. Also note that I've been using AutoCAD for about 25 years and teaching the subject for 10 years, so feel free to comment about my work and I'll try to answer any questions you might have. What you are looking at is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing I'll do is to erase the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawing still exists in model space, even though erased in paper space, and that I split the screen into two vertical viewports so that there will be room to redraw the solid model on the right-hand side. I created the two viewports so that you can see the original drawing on the left and better understand how I'm going to create the solid model. First, I'll create a new layer call it solid, give it the color blue, and make it current. Now I'll pick a point on the screen and draw a circle with a diameter of 3.5 and add, uh, inches and add center lines. Then we'll draw a bolt circle with a diameter of 2.25, which is concentric to the circle I've just drawn. And then we'll add four holes on the broke circle at different diameters and located as shown on the left. Also, with ortho on, I'm going to draw a number of straight, straight lines starting at the quadrants of the four of the four circles. Also, with O snap off, I'm going to break the large circle at four locations between the parallel lines going counterclockwise. Then, we want to break each of the four circles in the same manner going counterclockwise. Our next step will be to trim the excesses of the circles from the parallel lines. We also want to add a hole 0.25 diameter at the center. And finally, we want to fill it with a radius of 0.125 in several locations. and then to erase all unnecessary lines. In order to convert this 2D drawing into a solid, we will use the PE command, the polyline edit command, and convert the perimeter into a single continuous polyline. You can tell that it is a polyline because when I hover over it, the whole perimeter gets highlighted. In the next step, I'll move to a southeast isometric view and extrude 
the perimeter as well as the hole a distance of 0.5 and then subtract the hole from the model. And then using AutoCAD's conceptual visual style add some color. And finally I'll convert or rather merge both viewports into one single viewport and then show only the top view of the 2D and solid model. Having finished the solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawing properly and make it ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there, even though they really aren't necessary. Now, to create the two viewports, I'll use the MView command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to southeast isometric view, and then pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. And to get back in the paper space, double click outside the viewport. You have to remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking the Properties icon. The standard scale is found under Miscellaneous, and then you can set any scale that you want for the viewport. Once the scale is set, you double click inside the large viewport to gain access and pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible. Sometimes it's necessary to move the solid. And of course, and of course to get back into paper space, you have to double click outside the viewport. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports where the viewports are located. But also remember that you cannot freeze the viewports layer if it is current, so another layer should be made current. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed the tutorial and want more, please comment on the video. I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.